Hello my crochet friends, it's Yomi here today and in this video I'm sharing with you how to make a slip stitch cord. I'm going to show you two different methods so that you can pick up the one that is more easy or that it looks better to you. The things we are going to need for this tutorial are cotton yarn or any other yarn that doesn't fail when you wash this, a pair of scissors, a darning needle for sewing in the ends, and a crochet hook in the size suitable for the yarn. In this case, I'm using a crochet hook in the size 3.5 millimeters. Let's start with this tutorial. For this tutorial, we are going to begin with a slip knot. And then we are going to make a foundation chain that is formed by any number of chains. You decide the length of this according to your needs. In this case, I'm going to use as an example a foundation chain formed by 15 chains. If you are a beginner in crochet and you need additional help with respect to slip knots and chains, I have made a separate video where I explain every single detail starting from how to make the slip knot how to make chains and how to count chains, okay? So I will leave you the link down below and you can watch this. Now my foundation chain is ready, so I'm going to start working the slip stitches and for that I'm going to do on the front loop of our chain. The front loop of the chain is a standard place where we introduce our hook. So here, okay, so here I introduce my hook through this loop, then I yarn over, come out through the loop, and then I'm going to pull this second loop through the first one, and the slip stitch is ready. So I'm going to continue working, yarn over, come out through this loop, then I'm going to pull the second loop through the first one without any additional yarn over. I continue working until the end of the row and show you the results. So now I'm at the end of the row and to finish our cord we just are going to cut off the yarn and pull this through. Then I'm going to take a darning needle and just to hide these remaining threads so that our work looks clean and neat. For the one here, for the one on top, I'm going to pass this through these little bumps that you can see here. Just through the first four or five so that it remains secure. Okay, and I'm going to do the same with the other thread, but just passing through the other bumps that we see here. And here you can see the end result of this work. Now we are going to continue with the second method. For that we again begin with a slip knot and 15 chains and now I'm going to show you what comes next. So here I have already my foundation chain with 15 chains and we are going to begin working on the back loop of our chain. For this, this is the front side or the right side and then we are going to twist a little bit our chain until we are able to see these bumps here, as you can see. These bumps, they are called the back loop of the chain. So then I'm going just to introduce my hook through the first bump, okay, 
and here I yarn over, come out through this gap and then the loop of the yarn over pull it through the first loop. And now our first slip stitch is ready. So I'm going to continue working slip stitches in every single bump or every single back loop of our chain. Okay, so here I'm at the end of the row. To finish this, I'm going just to cut off the yarn and pull this through. And next, with our darning needle, I'm going to hide these threads here in these tiny loops that you can see here, the same way that we have done before for the first cord. So here I'm in the back side of the work, okay, and with the darning needle I'm just going to try to hide this through the next bumps, just through the next three to four or four to five, it's up to you to secure my work and to have a clean finish. So just here. And here I cut off the remaining thread. And I'm going to do the same with this other thread here, okay? And now you can see here the end result. So this is our cord when we work on the back loop of our chain. And here we can compare the two cords. The one on the left hand side, this is the cord where we have worked the slip stitch on the front loop and here that's the cord where we have work on the back stitch. Both samples have the same number of chains in the foundation chain. As you can see the one on the back loop is a little bit smaller and it's tighter than the one where we have work on the front loop. Okay, both of them are very nice and very cute and can be used in many ways. And that's all what I have for you, my friends. If you enjoyed the video and you have learned something new, please give a like to the video. Leave me a comment down below if you have any question or you want to tell me what I should show you in the next tutorial. You know I love reading your comments. And for now, I leave you a big hug. I wish you a nice day and bye.